Fabrizio Romano says Ineos have 100% approved Manchester United transfer target after scouting recommendation. Manchester United are now gearing up for a hugely important transfer window as the club look to try and build a successful way forward. Changes in the air at Old Trafford, with Ineos looking to make their presence felt during the first summer transfer window under their stewardship, new faces will be needed to freshen up a squad that finished a lowly eighth last season, regardless of what happens in the FA Cup final. Work has been ongoing to identify potential transfer targets, with newly appointed technical director Jason Wilcox hard at work in preparation of United doing business, Manchester United like Michael O'Lies. One player whose name has been frequently linked in recent weeks is Crystal Palace winger Michael O'Lies, who was excellent in the Eagles' recent win over Manchester United. It wasn't just Manchester United fans who were impressed. The club scouts and hierarchy are in sync in approval of the Palace forward. Fabrizio Romano, speaking to the United stand, explains, Manchester United have approved this possibility in terms of scouting him. The player is 100% approved internally. He does cite difficulties, however, adding, the real problem there is the competition. Many clubs are interested in O'Lies. Manchester United do not have Champions League football to offer and may not have any European football. Neither do O'Lies Palace but United's competitors may be able to do so, and don't expect the Red Devils to go crazy on wages either, under Ineos. Romano clarifies that United's interest in Olais is still at the starting blocks, adding, they have still not started advanced negotiations. Why Olais might not be a priority? Michael Olais is a signing Manchester United would love to have, but the club have to start prioritizing players in terms of need last summer United splashed out on Mason Mount when there were bigger priorities at other positions, and the rest of the club's transfer business was a lot more difficult. United are working to a tight budget once again, and have gaps to fill at centre-back, and striker. A left-back is probably going to be necessary too. There is work to do in midfield, especially if Casemiro leaves, all of which makes winger feel like a luxury addition. Will there be any money left for our lies? And just as poignantly, will he even still be available, amid competition for his signature, Man United now in talks with £17 million Bruno Fernandes successor who has great potential. This summer will see Manchester United busy in the transfer window and now a possible Bruno Fernandes successor has been linked. Ahead of this weekend's FA Cup final, transfer links are already emerging which perfectly symbolizes the busy summer that Ineos will be hoping for, there are several positions which need addressing this summer in order to revamp a squad which has hit a wall this season. One position which seems to be on the cards for an addition is the attacking midfield, with Bruno Fernandes beginning to have small injury concerns for the first time in his career. Now, Manchester United have been linked with signing a successor for the club captain. It comes in the form of an 18-year-old Frenchman, Manchester United enter talks with Desire Do. According to a report from the Sports Zone on X, Ren Teenage Sensation, Desire Do now wants to leave the French side this summer. It's explained that his representatives are in talks with multiple clubs including PSG, Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen. Although United are also mentioned, along with Arsenal as both Premier League clubs have begun contacts over a potential move for the teenager. Do is among the hottest attacking midfield prospects in the continent right now and it's little surprise to see United interested as he could be the ideal Fernandez successor to bring in and develop for a year or two before he becomes a starter. With a market value of just £17 million according to CIES, Do wouldn't break the bank and could be an excellent option to strengthen the squad. It's also a move which could indicate the long-term planning to eventually replace Fernandez. just weeks after his departure was rumoured, what has Nemanja Matic said about Desire Du. Du has enjoyed a strong season in League One for Ren and Nemanja Matic has tipped him as having great potential while speaking with the League One website. This has been the season in which Du has announced himself to Europe, making 31 League One appearances for Ren in which he made nine goal contributions. For goals and five assists to his name have also seen him feature for the French U23 side and he'll also likely be in Thierry Henry's side for the Olympics over the summer. Do would be an excellent addition to the squad and signing him while Fernandez remains capable of starting week in and week out means he'll have the best mentor available to an attacking midfielder. Point 11 goals, 9 assists, £20 million forward could be a total bargain for Manchester United. Manchester United are taking a look at a Japanese forward playing in Denmark. 
it was not sustainable for Manchester United to keep on pursuing big names. More to the point, it was not a successful strategy, with a limited transfer budget being overseen by Ineos, Manchester United need to be smarter, and target young, hungry players on the rise, who won't cost too much. One interesting potential target is Brom by forward Yuito Suzuki, who has recently been scouted by United, per Danish outlet Bold.dk, who is Yuito Suzuki. Yuito Suzuki is 22 and signed for Brom by from Japanese club Shimizu s Pulse in early 2023. After a brief loan to Strasbourg, he has started to make a name for himself in Denmark. This season Suzuki has scored 11 goals in all competitions and provided a further 9 assists in 30 matches. That's a goal contribution 2 out of every 3 games. Suzuki plays as a striker but can also play deeper, netting several of his goals in a supporting role behind a main centre forward, the Japanese under-23 international is awaiting his senior debut, but that's only a matter of time, with his career just getting started. Yuito Suzuki strengths Speaking two years ago via goal, Suzuki talking about his versatility and creativity being among his key traits. He said, my strength is that I can play in any attacking position. What is required of me is to receive the ball in the gaps of the opponents and link it to the attack. How much Yuito Suzuki could cost? Brondley paid around £4 million to sign Suzuki and now believe they could cash in for as much as £20 million with clubs like Manchester United taking an interest. That is a handy profit for them, but also a bargain fee if he proves a big success in the Premier League. Manchester United are a team lacking goal scorers. Eric Ten Hag's side have never scored five goals in a single match during his two seasons at the club, and ended the Premier League season on a minus one goal difference. Suzuki, alone, won't solve United woes, but as part of the puzzle, he could be a shrewd addition to the squad along with another goal scorer. His creativity wouldn't go amiss either, with the Japanese ace just as comfortable providing for others as he is scoring gold, Man United shortlist £65 million rated England international as summer transfer target. Manchester United are considering a move for Crystal Palace defender Mark Gorhi. According to the Daily Mail, if Everton do not sell centre-back Jared Branthwaite for £55 million, the Red Devils will target a move for Gorhi. Man United desperately need defenders this summer as Rafael Varane is leaving the club and Johnny Evans' contract is expiring next month. The Red Devils are expected to sign two defenders in the summer transfer window and they will consider signing young defenders to balance the average age of the squad. To strengthen the defensive position is the priority for Man United and Sir Jim Ratcliffe this summer, who will need to raise funds for transfer business by selling players. The report in the Daily Mail states that Man United's transfer budget is only £35 million and they will have to generate funds by selling some players. Everton's Jared Branthwaite is Man United's top target for the centre back position. However, if Everton refuse to sell him for the right price, they have identified Gorhi as an alternative. Since joining Crystal Palace from Chelsea in an £18 million fee via Guardian, move back in 2021. The central defender has impressed, his performances have not gone unnoticed with the defender winning a place in Gareth Southgate's England squad. Naturally, then, he has caught the eyes of other Premier League suitors. The Telegraph reports that Palace have already started looking for his replacement as they feel he would be leaving the club in the near future. As per the report in Telegraph, the Eagles would look to sell Gorhi for above the club record fee of £50 million set by Aaron W. N. Basaka's move to Man United. Man United are desperate to sign a new defender. It remains to be seen who the Red Devils sign this summer, Gorhi or Branthwaite. The need for a new centre-back is obvious at the club and they will target a young centre-back who can provide energy and stability to their defensive line. Man United are expected to go through a major overhaul of their squad this summer as the new leadership prepares to restore the glory days of the club.